What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a double dragon team for Regulation D, Baxcalibur and Dragapult team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But as you guys know, the Teal Mask DLC comes out in just a couple of days. So if you guys are interested or have teams for the brand new Pokemon, make sure you guys leave them in my comment section down below or do me an even bigger favor. DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. I'm looking for all different kinds of teams featuring the new Pokemon. To showcase on my youtube channel so again if you guys have teams or are interested on teams or team building make sure you guys uh, dm me over on twitter but first pokemon for today's team preview is going to be my boy paloops pelipper over here with drizzle and the rocky helmet as its item it's rocking hurricane it's got helping hand it's got wide guard and tailwind in our second slot is going to be basket legion a perfect pokemon to pair up with pelipper it's got swift swim double its speed life for as item wave crash last specs aqua jet and protect nothing you guys haven't seen before Thunderous is in our third slot, Pranks are Thunderous I should say, so it's a great support Pokemon for this team. It's got Wide Lens as item, so its moves can hit more frequently, and then it's got Wild Bolt Storm, Bolt Switch, Taunt, and Thunder Wave. In our fourth slot, we got Shen Pao. Shen Pao pairs up perfectly with almost all these Pokemon, with the Basque Legion, the Dragapult, and the Baxcalibur, considering they are all physical attackers. There's Focus Sash as item, with a great move set of Icicle Crash, Protect, Sucker Punch, and Terror Blast with that Grass Terror type. In our fifth slot, we got Dragapult, our first of two dragons. With Clear Body and the Choice Band as item, Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Terror Blast, and Sucker Punch. Pair this up next to Shen Pao, this thing is hitting like a truck. In our final slot, we got Baxcalibur, the Gen 9 Pseudo Legend, with Thermal Exchange and the Salt Vest as its item. It's got Glaive Rush, Icicle Crash, EQ, and Ice Shard alongside with that Ground Terror type to make EQ do a much more amount of damage. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run to code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bax Caliber and Choice Band Dragon Pole team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Shen Pao Dragonite team alongside with Chiyu and Fluttermane, which is another great combo. And then they got Grimstarl for support alongside with Cresselia for support. So two support Pokemon and then two heavy combos with the uh, Fluttermane, Chiyu, and Dragon Knight and Shen Pao. Okay, who am I playing? How am I going to go into this? The dragons are looking okay here right considering they have two fairy types the dragons are not looking top tier but i could definitely bring in at least one of them because i got the ice moves i got the first time priority i got the speed i got a lot of different things going on here so i might just bring dragon Bolt as a back end pokemon but thunderous right here would not be a bad lead same thing with pelipper pelipper wouldn't be a bad lead especially with basket legion considering we could take speed right off the rip right and I kind of really like that. Yeah, I'm going to go Rain Squad early on here. I think I have Tailwind on here. Am I correct? That is correct. So that's going to be really, really good. So I like having both of these, especially set in Rain. They have no way of weather control. So it's going to be it's gonna be big time for us. And then in the back end, we're going to go Shen Pao. And I think Dragapult. Let me see your moves one more time, Dragapult. I know you got the Choice Band. You got the Fairy Terror with Phantom Force, which just hits like a truck. Especially with uh, the Stab and the Choice Band. So I'm really leaning towards this Pokemon right here. Really am, especially if we can get rid of like say Fluttermane, I can just choice into Dragon Darts and maybe just get cooking from there because Dragon Darts hits really, really hard, especially because it's hitting twice and it can hit both sides. It's just such a good move. It really is. But we'll see. We'll see who they want to end up leading because like I said, they got two powerhouses of a combo. I could definitely see them setting up maybe Reflect or something right off the rip here. So, we'll see. We'll see. So, I think it's either going to be Grimstar or Shen Pao Dragonite. And there's Grimstarl. So Grimstarl comes out here. A little bit of half and half of what I said. Dragonite and Grimstarl come out here. Um, huh. Are you going to set up Reflect? Probably, right? Probably a Reflect here. Thrasilize is not going to be good for us. So I'm just going to Wave Crash into Grimstarl. Look to get off some nice damage. And I'm just going to set up a Tailwind. I think Tailwind's going to be great for us. I do have to watch out for Shen Pao and Sucker Punch. But we'll see what they're going to do. They're just going to end up protecting Dragonite. The protection on the Dragonite and the Swagger is going to come out here into my Paloops. Give me an attack boost, but confuse me at the same time. Okay, I got faith in you, Paloops. You're not going to hurt yourself with confusion. You're just going to land this Tailwind and everything's going to work wonders. And what do you got? Oh, you got Mirror. Okay, I see you. I understand. I understand the plays. I'm hoping Wave Crash could just straight up KO. That means no screens. And yeah, it does. 
And come to think of it, I don't think the Scream Snarl was meant for Sweet. I think it was just meant to swagger and pop the mirror herb, and now Shen Pao comes out here. Might be a correct statement. Can you land his Tailwind, please, and thank you? Be a good Pel Pelipper. Come on, Pelipper. Come on, Pelipper. I needed you there. So from here, it's a little tough. I mean, I can Aqua Jet, which I'm probably going to do. I'm going to Aqua Jet into the Shen Pao, just because I do believe it's going for Sucker Punch. So if Shen Pao does come out here, I am going to Aqua Jet into it, and I believe it. I believe it is. I believe it. It is. And this is kind of tough because if he goes into Shen Pao, then E speed is just crazy. And you're not going to go into Shen Pao. You should just go into you, and you got Protosynthesis. The speed's going to get heightened. Um, I could protect you. So do I have in the back end? I do have Shen Pao in the back end. Pretty solid little Pokemon. I would love to try to get off Tailwind. I really want to try to get off Tailwind. So I'm just going to protect you. Why don't you go Helping Hand Aqua Jet? That's not bad. Actually, let's do that. Let's go Helping Hand Aqua Jet. That's the play all day. Helping Hand with the Aqua Jet. Let's see how much damage I can actually do. Try to get rid of that Flood. It's like I said, I got Dragon Darts in the back end. That'll be massive. So we're going to see a Terra probably coming off Dragon Out. Yep, correct. Looking to go for East Speeds. Yeah, that's 100% what's happening. And we're going to use Helping Hand. Helping Hand will come out before East Speed, which is massive. I believe it does, right? I believe Helping Hand goes before anything. And of course I'm confused. You better not hurt yourself confusion this turn. Kinda need your Helping Hand for some damage. Lovely. We get off the Helping Hand before E-Speed. So if I had to guess, Shadow Ball is coming into the Basket Legion spot, and E-Speed's going into the Pelipper spot, right? Yeah, there's the E-Speed. We're gonna say bye-bye to Pelipper. Oh, you actually eat. That's massive. We need to- and you give out some Rocky Helmet damage. We love it. Aqua Jet coming in hot here. And that is KO. -ing. Let's go! Let's go! That is massive! That is massive! That is massive. It's a big time KO. That's a big time KO. That's massive. So we get rid of Fluttermane. We're going to know their final two Pokemon. And it's going to be Crest. No Shen Pao. We love it. We love it. We love it. So from here, Last Respect's going to come out here. Actually, we're going for Wave Crash all day. Let me go back. Actually, I'd rather Wave Crash into you. I'm going to Wave Crash that slot. And I'm just going to go for a... a uh, I'm going to go for a Tailwind. Because if they don't end up KOing Pelipper, we'll take some speed with us. And we'll kind of go from there. But yo, hot start. Hot start. He's gonna end up protecting Dragon. Are you popping a tailwind? That's the real question. What are you doing, Chris? You gotta be attacking me or something. You gotta be trying to take out one of my Pokemon. So he ends up protecting. I'd be very upset if he goes for tailwind this turn. Goes for a mud slap. Mud slap on me. Drops my accuracy. What Cresselia rocks mud slap? And I'm still confused. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand, but luckily my boy Palper said, hey yo. Confusion, no problem. Sets up the tail. So now from here, I'm going to wave crash into you again all day. And I'm just going to go for a hurricane into the slot. Because wave crash is going to KO the uh, dragon. I'm going to KO the dragon all day. Unless we miss because we do have an accuracy drop. But you're going to Alice, which is said. So Cresselia is going to say, hey, let me take this wave crash. Pretty smart play. Let's see how much damage this, this is going to do. There's a lot. There's a lot. I think it does have Rocky Helmet as well. So let's see what Dragonite wants to cook, cook with. Oh, we died a week That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts, but I really like my soul. You're still confused? That's four turns. That is wild. That is wild. Honestly, a bit crazy. A bit crazy. Four turns of confusion. God dang. Status condition RNG is never on my side. It never is. Never, it never will. Never, never is. Never is. Never will. So I bring out Shen Pao, I bring out Dragapult, and luckily Cresselia looks like a fairy type, but it's not a fairy type. So I can choice into Dragon Darts. He can go in E-Speed, but do I have Sash? I believe I have Sash, right? You have Sash. Show me you have Sash, yeah. Cool, you have Sash. I can definitely just go into a beautiful Dragon Darts here. And on top of that, uh, I'm just gonna Ice Crash. And double down into... Dragon Dart. Because if you protect Dragon Darts, it's just going to go into the double slot. And it's going to be beautiful. And I think we're sitting really pretty. Because first turn priority, probably going to go for it, right? Probably going to go for an E speed. Yeah. And that's fine. We have the Sash. That's why I checked if we had Sash. Everything works out perfectly. And I don't even think I terror. I still have my terror type. I still have my terror type. We're, th we're thriving. Because Dragon Darts going to do that. And Dragon Darts should KO you, right? It doesn't, but Iso Crash Lance is going to KO. Okay, so that's all the victory. 
That's an all day victory. Cool. I was gonna say, we just need to pick up a KO on one Pokemon and it's GG's. So there we go, Dragon Knight drops out. Let's see what Cresselia is going for. He's gonna go for an Icy. Slow me down a tad bit, but I'm still gonna be faster. And that's the match, that's the match. That be the match. And I think even minus one, Dragon Pulse still outspeeds Cresselia. We still have Tailwind up. But uh, what was your terror type? It was Fairy, so. I mean, we could have did that, but it's all good. We don't need to. I'm just going to Dragon Darts. I think our opponent's going to cancel. Nope. Dragon Darts going to fly. It's going to finish off the Cresselia. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get things started. What a great start for today's video, starting off 1-0. But the play of the game was the Helping Hand Aqua Jet from Basculation and Pelipper. Taking out the Fluttermane in one shot and going from there. But we're hopping into our second match. And we're going up against an Alolan Muck team with Co-Star Flamigo, Skull Villain, who is such a cool Pokemon. And then they're also rocking out with Lillaboom Urshfu and Tornatus. Who am I leading here? I kind of forget what Alolan Muck does, but we'll deal with it when the time comes. I could go Dragapult. Dragapult Shen Pao. Not bad. It is not too shabby. Not too shabby. I could go drag or not drag pull, uh, back to Calibre Shen Pao. It also works out really well. Or I can just lead this little support Pokemon to you. I can get down for you. I'm actually all about that. I can taunt. I can paralyze. Go from there. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to go into you and I'm also going to lead Shen Pao. I get down for that. What do I just lead like Baxcalibur? Because I think they're going to lead potentially like Boom or something. Yeah, I mean, that works. That definitely works. We are super effective on through a few. So Baxcalibur's going to come in here. We'll bring Shen Pao and we'll bring Dragon Ball. You have no fairy Pokemon. So my dragons can really get thriving here. Yeah, let's double dragon. We're double dragon. Double. Double down on dragon. Plus Baxcalibur's going to be really good. I maybe should have brought him in back end. But Baxcalibur's going to be super effective onto the grass Pokemon like Rillaboom and a flying Pokemon like Flamigo. And Tornadas. Plus, I have EQ and I believe a little Mux poison and something else. So, that could be good. But he ends up bringing out these two, and that's actually really good. I mean, you can fake me out. I, again, I'm kind of scared of what the Muck does. The muck is a little terrifying. He's poison and dark. And you're not setting terrain, so wait. What's your ability? You don't have Zoroark on the team, right? What's your ability? Overgrow? I'm gonna Thunder Wave you and might as well try to go for an EQ. Actually, I will just actually Thunder Wave the Muck. Actually, you're dark, so Prankster will not work. I'm gonna Thunder Wave you. I should go for an EQ. Take out is gonna come after the Max Caliber. Muck looks so sick. It really does. I'm gonna paralyze you. No grassy terrain, which is weird. I'm gonna flinch. He's gonna, yo, you gotta, you gotta stop. That 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 nonsense right there has got to stop. I'll go for a wild bolt storm, and I'm just gonna EQ. I gotta look to get off some big time damage onto this uh muck. He ends up withdrawing the building. That's that's fine. You're gonna go into me. So I'm dropping a wild bolt storm and an EQ. You're gonna go to skull villain. Okay, so that's fine. The muck's gonna protect. The muck muck goes for a protect. It's kind of scaring me. And I feel as everything makes sense now. It's a minimized muck team. Trying to rock in with what's called as well. Co-Star Flamigo. So if I had to guess, that would be your back-end Pokemon. So this Pokemon could be Choice Scarf, the school villain. It's going to be moody. And of course, it gets a nice little defense boost. But its attacks are dropping. That's actually massive. So it gets an attack drop. We're going to stick with the same moveset here. And I'm just gonna go EQ. I'm gonna go Wobble Storm. So Rage Powder's gonna come out here. That's fine. We're using two double hitting moves, as you just seen. I don't know why they would use Rage Powder here. And I think he's looking to go for maybe another Minimize. And of course, is that Muck gonna dodge it? Yeah, Muck dodges it. Yo, Muck, you gotta stop with the Minimizes. Get a Paralyze on that. EQ's gonna be able to KO Skull Villain. Hopefully, it lands on the Muck. We go from there. Yo, this this guy stop. Oh no, okay, it doesn't. I thought uh, the Muck dodged it. I really did think the muck dodge. So we get half damage. Maybe I should have Terra. I'll probably potentially Terra next turn. We we'll go from there. This thing has the power of Alchemy, so it's gonna get Moody. Moody's gonna take over, and he's gonna minimize again. Yo, stop! You have to knock this off. Not cool. 
not cool. So it gets Black Sludge. It's got Minimize. It's attack boosting, but its defense is dropping. So, dude, if we can hit this thing with an EQ, it's game over. We can finish it off. Because I might Terrasalize. But you're going to bring back out Robum, right? Yeah, and you're going to fake out my back caliber. So from here... From here, we're just going to keep going for Wobble Storm. trying to get Paralyzes. Oh, I, could, I could Volt Switch. That might be my play. I'm going to Volt Switch. And actually, I would rather Volt Switch into Rillaboom. Just so I can land it. Because at that point, I can bring out... I can bring out what's it called Dragapult. I could use Phantom Force. Hmm. Actually, no. We're going to stick with Wild Bolt Storm. Maybe look at grab some Paralyzes, and we'll go for EQ if I can. He's going to fake me out anyway. I have no Protect. Kind of tough news. Oh, and he can't... Oh, we can't move because he's Paralyzed. That's big time. I maybe should have Terrasalized, but Wild Bolt Storm is going to end up landing. And if I can just land this EQ, we pretty much just ruin everything he does. Let's see. Oh, he's dodging it. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. He's dodging it. You son of a, you gotta knock this off. Yo, this thing's hitting like a goddamn truck now. He's gotta knock it off. I gotta just hit him with an EQ. I have to hit him with an EQ. His special defense now boosts, but his defense is dropped. I just have to hit him with an EQ. Wobbled Storm coming out here. We're going for more EQs. Do I have any move that hits 100%? No, I don't. EQ, EQ's our best bet. So, we're going into EQ again. Come on, I need ya. Surprised he hasn't terrasalized that Pokemon yet, but maybe he doesn't like his terror type that he has. Muck's just gonna protect him. He's getting out of hand. Need a little bit of RNG here. I know he's minimized plus four on the uh, evasiveness. But I have to be able to hit that thing. Like EQ, I don't care how small you are, how much evasiveness you have, you can't dodge an earthquake, right? It's just absurd. We do some damage here. Real Boom's gonna go for a bulldoze. He's gonna chuck up a little bit of damage into my into my Vex Caliber, and on top of that, I get a speed drop. All right, so Black Sludge get some HP back. Oh, Lord, Lord, and he's gonna get the Moody Special Attack Boost. That's fine. And defense drop. Let's see this thing's stats. Hold up, what's your stats looking like? God dang! Plus two attack, plus two special defense, plus two attack, minus three defense. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. So we'll go for Wild Bolt Storm. We'll pop another EQ. Looking to get after it. Special defense is through the roof, which kind of sucks. <coughs> Just need to land an EQ. Just need to get the EQ. Wild Bolt Storm's landing. Not what we wanted to land. Can we paralyze out on the muck? We do not. And EQ's flying. Come on, man. Come on, EQ. Come on, EQ. Come on, EQ. I need you. I need you. Knockoff's gonna KO me, isn't it? No, we survived that. Didn't take off my vest. And he's paralyzed. So we get another chance here. We should be able to KO the real here. This is absurd. This is absurd. This is absurd. Not cool, because he's gonna protect. We know he's gonna protect. And honestly, if he's protecting, I'm just going to go for a Wild Bolt Storm, and I'm just going to go for a nice shard here. Actually, I know he's protecting. I know for a fact he's protecting, so I'm going to hard swap. Actually, no, I wanna, I'm want i going to leave this Pokemon out here. Let's go for uh, let's go for Wild Bolt Storm. And I'm just going to finish off you. Yeah, I knew you were protecting all day. <clears throat> I knew you'd be protecting. The nice shard's just going to cook. It's just going to take out you. Cool. Wobble Storm's gonna do nothing, and I'm just gonna try to Thunder Wave the next Pokemon that comes out here. So annoying. This this thing's so annoying. It's gotta be Coastar from Nico. Getting all the stats. This could get ugly real quick. This could get ugly real quick. I, I just can't hit these Pokemon. The evasiveness is massive. So let's see if it's Flamigo. I believe it to be Flamigo. And yeah, it is Flamigo. Kosar's gonna come out here. And both their stats are absurd. Let me see them. It's a good thing special attacks high. Because both of them are physical attackers. 
But from here, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave. Try and land that over there. I do not have Y lens anymore. Oh, dude, this is ugly. This is ugly. Do we even go for Thunder Wave? It's gonna miss. It's gonna miss. It's actually already low. Your accuracy is already low. This is ugly. You know what? Fine. We'll go for Thunder Wave. And we're just gonna go for. I wanna try to get rid of the muck, so I want you to get EQ. Thunder Wave's gonna miss. Oh, dude. So ugly. More than ugly. And throw a chop coming out of here. Can we land this EQ into the muck? Can we, like, please, Max Scott, we can't go over three with EQs in your past three EQs. Go ahead. Flamigo, you can dodge it. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my lord. It's ugly, yo. It's so ugly. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. Okay. So Shen Pao and Dragon Pult are going to come out here. Can we just land attacks? This is just all RNG at this point. This is all like, yo, can we land attacks and we can win this game? I still have Terra. But do I want to use Terra? I kind of like your typings. Um, I try ghost typing. <coughs> but he has Storm Chop. I think we're going to try to slice the Pult here. Just because I know he has Storm Chop. I'm going to terrestrialize the pole. And I got to go for Dragon Darts. We're going to Dragon Darts. And on top of that, we're going to go Ice and Crash. All right. Let's do it. Land some attacks. We just need to land some attacks. Just land a couple attacks. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. And we win this match. And we, and we, and we, we have a good day. We have a good day. I like Terra into Fairy because I think the little chops coming in this slot. Also, a fighting move could come into the Shen Pao slot. We have two options. But I have Focus Sash, which is massive. Massive little Sash. I'm gonna come in here and Dragon Darts is cooking! Does Dragon Darts not miss? I feel like it doesn't miss. And why did only one Dragon Darts go out? Did they nerf Dragon Darts? They, the, Dragon Darts didn't always used to do that, right? You always used to hit twice. So it goes for the close combat. I'm sitting here. I'm going to go Dragon Darts. I'm going to go Ice Crash. Dragon Darts, can you land again? No, so Dragon Darts isn't 100%. This thing's just out. Can you land Ice Crash? Stop. Stop. This has just got to stop. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. So we have a great terror type. We just need to land some dragon darts. Your choice band. I think dragon darts might be able to KO this thing. This thing's kind of not that beefy. Oh my lord. Can we land some dragon darts here? Come on, man. <laughs> I do not want to lose this match. Flamigo, yo. Chilling with his stats boosted. I think he's only plus one on defense, which we can deal with. <coughs> we can definitely deal with that. But I wonder if it's moveset. But Dragon Darts is going to land, which is gorgeous, and one-shotting that. Awesome. Thank the Lord. I didn't want to lose that team. We're 2-0. Oh. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's go hop through a third and try to grab you guys a perfect record. 2-0. and oh. Let's try to make it 3-0. Oh. Third and final match is here, and we're going up against Grim Snarl and Dragonite. Also with Hisuian Arcanine for Intimidates. They got Sneasler, who was actually really, really powerful. And then they got Tornadus, alongside with Fluttermane, which everybody knows Fluttermane is amazing. So I probably shouldn't go into Double Dragon like we did in the last one as much as I want to. I feel this Rain Squad is going to be pretty good for us. So Pelipper, Basket Legion, let's come down here. Let's get after it. Um, as back in Pokemon, we're going to go Shen Pao and then pick one of the dragons. Hmm. What dragon would be better? Probably Baxcalibur, right? Got a little bit of first turn priority action. You got EQ, which is going to be super effective onto a few of these guys. And then the ice move is going to be solid. So, yeah, let's go Baxcalibur. Plus, I'm not going not gonna to lie. Dragapult, please close your ears. I'd like Baxcalibur a little bit better. Even though Dragapult looks awesome, but Baxcalibur is just so dope. He really is. When I first saw him in this game, I was just like, yeah, you're on my team. You're coming on my uh, playthrough team. So, I rocked out with Baxcalibur. He was a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. I love the, I love the Gen 9 Pokemon. I think that, I think a lot of them are sick. Definitely better than Gen 8. Pokemon wise, right? Uh, I think I think Gen 8 has a few bangers, but Gen 9 has just a lot more better Pokemon. But Sneasler and Tornado is gonna come out here. Um, you do have Fake Out Sneasler. I know you do. 
Uh, I could just Aqua Jet, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for the Wave Crash into you. And I am just gonna go into a. Actually, let's do this. Let's just go Aqua Jet for some big time damage. And on top of that, no, 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 no. We'll go Wave Crash over here into Tornadus, and then Hurricane the Sneezer slot. So we're gonna see a terror right after it. Probably Sneezer, right? Sneezer, what you got cooking here for terror? What you got cooking here? This little rock terror. Hurt like so odd, but so perfect in this instance. But I can just like, you know, Aqua Jet in that slot. And you're gonna swag you mirror herb? Or you're just swaggering him and you're gonna be lumberry. Okay, I feel you. I understand. I understand the plays. I understand. I should've aqua jet it. I should've wave crashed into that thing. But we're fine here. We shall be fine. Rock side coming out here. That is. Whew. Can we eat that up? You guys can. Cool. Awesome, dude. Wave crash coming in here. Recall my KOs, which would suck. We do pick up a KO, so no tailwind comes out from him. <clears throat> and please recall, do not KO me. It does KO me. Really wanted an Aqua Jet turn. Really wanted an Aqua Jet turn. It's fine. We're going to pop a nice little hurricane here. Can we get some ducks going? Any ducks? Any ducks? We get ducks. Cool. Cool. We get ducks. I'll take that turn. I'll take that turn all day. So now I get to go into you. And this is probably a turn where we maybe just terrestrialize, right? Because Rock's going to be super effective onto us and pop an EQ. Watermate's also going to fly in here. So yeah, Terra's going to be our play. It's an absolute must to terrestrialize here. And I'm going to help him hand it to Gotta help him hand it to Oh, this is scary. This is scary. We do have a soul vest, which, which I like. Speed's gonna get boosted. That's fine. You're already faster than us. I'm just gonna terrestrialize. I'm gonna go EQ and then Helping Hand's gotta be my play. Helping Hand, because EQ, if we can land this EQ, even if Helper dies, Sneezer's gonna die. Fluttermane's gonna take a massive amount of damage. Then we can bring out Shin Pao, and I can only Sucker Punch or Ice Shard to finish off Fluttermane. So, again, we kind of just need this EQ to land, and we can be sitting in a decent spot to maybe get a 3 0 record. But I hit that tower button. Lovely. Helping hands can come out here. The reason I use helping hand is because Sneasel is going to outspeed. So Rockside would just uh, whip in us. And it is confused. So maybe you can hurt yourself with confusion. Never. Never. We, don't, we never get that lucky, guys. Rockside's going to get Cook in here. Does a decent amount of damage back to Caliber. I do have the best. And I got a crit on somebody. I don't even know who I got a crit on, to be honest. Probably my back to Caliber because that did a bit too much damage. I do have the best. So can you eat up this Moonblast? Big time vest eat up. <coughs> EQ's now gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Sneasler. All day. Night night. See you later. And Fluttermane. Bye bye. Let's go. Let's go. Max Caliber with the EQ, the Terra Ground type. Helping Hand was a big play too. That's why I love having help a hand on my boy Paloops. So good. So good. Gives us that 1.3 times multiplier on damage. And just rips into Pokemon. So that is massive. That is massive. So now I, now I have a low HP. Max Caliber. I have my boy out here. And I'm definitely throwing an Ice Shard. So I'm going to go Ice Shard Ice Shard Crash. They don't have Terra. This thing's going to be four times super effective or weak to uh, Ice Shard. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm going to do that. Ice Shard Crash. And are they just going to cancel battle? No, you're just going to E-Speed me. They E-Speed me down. I still have Focus Dash. I just gotta land one Ice of Crash in Snake Night. Just one. Just one. You can miss this one, but you gotta land the next one. Or you can just land this one and end the game. Cool. Love you. Love you. Night Night. See you later, Dragon Knight. Cool. Dope. 3-0. Perfect record. Killed it with this double dragon regulation D team. Look at us, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the win column with a 3-0. Perfect record. Pelipper, Bash Collision. Always so strong with that rain combo. And then you got the Double Dragons, Dragapult, and Baxcalibur, who really showcased today. They were really, really powerful. Love both of them, especially paired up with Shen and Pao. And then having a little bit of support with Thunders came in clutch in certain situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.